Let's take a look at our Greenfield live camera this morning. It's a clear start to the day, but we are going to be seeing some increasing cloud cover as we go through this Saturday. Shake live camera showing us a similar view. Not tons of cloud cover in the sky, but it's going to be it's going to be much worse conditions coming up later this week. Expecting a lot of rain through the beginning of next week. Forecast focus showing us sun and clouds today. No rain to speak of, but going into the overnight and through the day on Christmas Eve. We're seeing scattered showers, nothing that's going to be too consistent, but they do dry up just in time for Christmas Day. Mainly dry, mild conditions and temperatures in the 40s. 22 News Storm Team ESP live Doppler radar showing no rain or snow right now, but we could see some a bit later. We'll show you why on our clouds and radar. I'm seeing a lot of movement through upstate New York of both rain and snow. And while it's not close to Massachusetts just yet, we are seeing it start to approach the state line a lot later this evening. Our temperature is now mainly in the teens, which is quite a cold sight. Palmer reading of 26, Agawam at 17, Wendell at 13, Berkshire County, similar temperatures, 18 in Stockbridge and 17 in Sandusfield. Some more temperatures for you, Wilbraham, at Wilbraham, Amherst and Deerfield all at 17. In Berkshire County, again, lots of similar temperatures, 18 in Dalton, 24 in Adams. And our 22 News, Storm Team Skycast showing us that we're going to be seeing a lot more cloud cover buildup. We already start to see it build up at around 12 o'clock Saturday and as we go through the day it starts pushing east and then around 6 p.m. we could see lots. We could see a little bit of those scattered showers and some even in the form of snow going towards northern parts of Berkshire County, Hampshire County and Franklin County as well. But again those are not going to be super consistent going through the evening. 12 a.m. Sunday still not a ton but once we pass 1 a.m. we start to see those scattered showers just over the state line in upstate New York and affecting areas in Berkshire County and they're going to start pushing more this way. Berkshire County at around 8 a.m. Sunday morning we're expecting to see a lot of those scattered showers but they can definitely make their way to Hamden, Hampshire and Franklin County as we go through the later parts of the morning but 12 p.m. Sunday not seeing a lot of activity. 4 p.m. Sunday nothing too impressive again mainly affecting northern parts of Massachusetts like Franklin County and northern parts of Berkshire County but we go through the evening, 12 a.m. Monday, lots of cloud cover, but we're not seeing any rain. And it does even start to clear up going into the middle of the day on Christmas. Today, we're seeing a bit of a mix of sun and clouds, a lot more cloud cover building up as the day goes on. Highs between 38 and 42. And this evening, we're seeing temperatures dip down into the mid 20s to low 30s with that chance of a scattered shower coming mainly in the later parts of the overnight. So this evening won't be ruined if you're trying to make that last minute drive over to the relative's house to celebrate the holidays. Our 22 new storm team seven day forecast showing us once to get past Christmas, lots of rain on the forecast and those warmer temperatures in the low 50s. But we have to get through today first a high of 40 and we're seeing that sun cloud mix. But going into the evening could expect a scattered shower going through Sunday. Monday, of course, the clearing for Santa Claus, Christmas Day. We have a high of 47, and I don't think we're going to be having a white Christmas this year. No snow expected. But once we get to Tuesday through Friday, we're starting to expect those scattered showers and more consistent showers in the middle of the week with temperatures in the high 40s and low 50s. If you want to stay up to date with all of our latest forecasts, you can check out our website, wwlp.com, or download the free 22 News mobile app.